All right, everybody, here it is, my next project. I want to take a break from Kirby. They even stop it all together because it's not that popular and start this game right here. Just wait for this cutscene. All right, here it goes. And... <gasps> Guess I'm doing Pokemon Fire Red again. No, I never did it to begin with. And this is not Pokemon Fire Red. It's another ROM hack called Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, yeah, uh, yada yada. In the world in which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. <clears throat> New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you'll be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. This is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. I love adventure. And look at some shadow with bangs. Hello there. Nice to meet ya. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Where humans and people live together happily. Oh, that should say humans. I accidentally said humans, but it says human, but it should say humans. Okay. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others treat them as family. As for myself, I am a Pokemon trainer. Bye, Nidoran. My name is, uh, my name is... <laughs> Wait, what was my name again? You forgot your own name, seriously? Alright, and this is Pokemon Adventures Red. It's a ROM hack based off the manga. So I'm going to name this guy what his name is on the manga. And his name is... I'm sorry, this is post-commentary. I'm going to do this for this for the videos a lot, so... And, like, I record the commentary ahead of time. So I'm just, like, blabbing on and on and on. Okay, now I'm interested. His name is... Rad. Oh, this is also a pretty cool uh, game, by the way. I'm going to have some descriptions on how to download it while I'm waiting for myself to... Right! My name is Rad. This is my rival. He's been my rival since. And I accidentally pressed the LRR button, bringing up the greeting system. And for some reason, it takes me a while to do it. He's been my, he's been my rival since we both met in Pallet Forest. And his name, and his name is Blue. Oh, uh, was it Blue? Yes. That's right. I remember now. His name is Blue. That's also his name on the manga. That's why I named him that. I am now the champion of Candle. A uh, spoiler alert! Let us know before you say that stuff. Apparently, it's going. I made friends and enemies in my journey. This is the first chapter of my story. And for some reason, I shrink down. Red, right, I think you should help her out with that needle ran. I look way too generic to ever be a star. Damn straight. Oops, I've dropped my balls. Oh, oh man, what's wrong with you, guy? Oh, see you, Ma. Keep some stuff to yourself. Oh, that's the conversation you have with your father. You don't tell some strange kid. You barely know. Oh, God. Oh. Need. All right, that fat guy said it was a need ran, but it's clearly need Reno. And apparently I go on about this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. You have to weaken the Pokemon before you attempt to catch it, you know? Can you help me catch it? Please, big, strong, sexy man. Should I? Sure, no problem. Let's go, Poliwhirl. Oh, does Poliwhirl have a nickname? Yes. And since 
Brett is such a creative guy, he gave us Polyworld this original and awesome name that I go on about for a while. Alright, Polly. Okay. Okay, here it comes. And I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching a ROM hack, you've probably played plenty of Pokemon games in your life, so I'll just tell you about the uh, my post-commentary plan. It's for, oh, Nidorino's level 5, which is kind of weak for a Nidorino, but whatever. But yeah, uh, this post-commentary is like, if it doesn't work in the next video, maybe for some reason this, this area of Pokemon's a little messed up. I'll keep, I'll do live commentary, and if that doesn't work, do post commentary, but even if it never works, I plan on doing live commentary for me, even though you guys don't get to see it, just kind of as a way so I know what to say, because I kind of get an idea of what I said in the live commentary, then I'll say the same thing in post commentary. It's an interesting thing. And also after this, I hope to, that you guys just know that I'm not doing, I think somebody's here. My cat's acting weird. I, I don't even know why he zoned off. Anyway, uh, hopefully you, you won't know that I'm doing post commentary again. Shadow's still acting weird for some reason, but yeah, I'm the same because I was because I don't care to do post commentary because it seems like I get too boring and I beat Nidorino. But you know, I really want to show off this game. It's a pretty good game, and you know, it's good for the house. And I grew to level 6. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Pokeball! Here you go. Thank you, Red. Let me heal your Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Red. Me and Nidorino are good friends. Uh, that's Nidorino and I. I have a friend who fell into a coma in Viridian City. Ah, uh, yes. This was a thing that's based off a Pokemon theory that since the second episode of Pokemon when Pikachu was battling Team Rocket and used Thundershock, he actually, uh... You know, he hit Ash, and it's actually believed that it was so intense that Ash was actually in a coma. And what we're actually seeing is Ash's dream from a coma state, and that explains why he's traveled to so many regions and never aged. So, that's a pretty interesting theory. I think you can find it over the internet. I think it's all on Creepypasta. People upload videos on it. There's also this theory that I don't think this game make, mentions that Ash is part of the Illuminati with Bart Simpson, and when you're in the Illuminati, you apparently don't age. But, yeah. And then anyway, uh, this I guess I'm about ready to end it. I'll go on one final rant, and uh, this game I forgot to mention at the beginning. I think it was created by a guy named Rockman Mega Man, and it's a pretty great game. And uh, like I said in a uh, video, in my first video back with uh, Curry's Nightmare in Dreamland, I'm actually going to give a portion of my earnings if my videos start making money to charity, like 50%, and the other 50 is supposed to go with me. But for this let's play, I'm thinking like. 50% for charity, 25% for me, and the other 25% I'll try to get a hold of Rockman, Mega Man, and see if he wants me to buy him a nice little present. I really prefer to do that or give him money because I feel like a present is a little more personal because he creates this great game. He's doing it for free. He keeps on making more and more betas frequently. If there's any glitch, you tell him about it, he fixes it. He uh, replies to any problem you have on the Pokemon commu uh, community uh forum i'll leave you a link to that because that's where you can find the uh patch to this game and tell you how to do it so yeah i mean he's a little rude about it and you'll see in the game he actually leaves some of his rude marks in here but other than that it's not too bad and i really do think he does something because he creates this great game for free and i really appreciate that i mean i really enjoy it i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys play along with me or play along on yourselves so yeah and apparently I keep this going for like another few minutes. But I think I'll end the audio right about here, I guess. I guess there's something else I want to mention. Alright. Oh, and another good thing about doing post-commentary is that I can actually do notes of what I wanted to say but didn't say. So that's kind of interesting. Not interesting, kind of a good thing to know. So I'm saying another bit. So yeah. Anyway, thanks very much. I'll leave a description to it. Thank you for watching. 
拜。